Good day, good people. My name is Kabo Sekwele and I'm an online math tutor here to help young children turn their struggles into their successes. Today's topic is all about helping young children learn their timetables. Many young people are taught to memorize all their timetables. Memorizing can work, however, it's not sustainable because when we head into the much bigger numbers, memorizing becomes more of a challenge. Now, personally, I don't like teaching young people shortcut methods and memorizing to a certain extent is a shortcut method. Don't get me wrong, shortcuts are great if you're skilled in mathematics, but if you're still trying to improve your skills in math and your primary way of solving math problems is shortcuts, you won't do well in math. And that's not a habit that you want your child to acquire. So in this video, I'm gonna show parents the best way to teach your child how to learn their timetables, but I'll also be sharing a few shortcuts close to the end of this video for kids that are skilled in this topic. Please parents, I encourage you to only teach your child the shortcuts if they are skilled in the topic and if they already know how to find timetables without any help. All right, so first of all, multiplication is a very big part of timetables because you find the numbers in the timetable, otherwise known as the multiples of a number, by multiplying two whole numbers together. So your first action should be making sure that your child understands what multiplication is. So what then is multiplication? Multiplication groups smaller but equal numbers into one big group. Put simply, multiplication is a fast way of adding the same number over and over again. So for example, five plus five plus five plus five will give you the exact same answer as five multiplied by four because multiplication is basically fast addition. Adding five four times gives you the same answer as multiplying five by four. Your child needs to understand this because it's exactly this principle that's gonna help them find the multiples of any number, or in other words, the values of their timetables. Find a simple way to help them understand what multiplication is. You can use illustrations, you can use models, you can use examples. I personally use a lot of examples to illustrate this point to them. For example, I would show them on paper that adding five four times gives you the same answer as multiplying five by four. Once you are sure they understand this point, you can then move on to the next step. Your next step is to show them how to find multiples using the principle that we just discussed. Let's say for example, your child needs to learn the multiples of two. Encourage them to use that principle we just discussed to find the multiples of two. Your child can find a very long list of multiples using this principle. Now, although memorizing seems easier, as we've already discussed, it becomes harder when the numbers get bigger. For example, many children struggle to memorize the multiples of 7, 8, 9, and so forth. And this is why your child needs to get into the habit of having a principled method of finding multiples. Because then they can use that method to find multiples of bigger numbers. For example, the number 8. It may look as though the multiples of 8 are just a random selection of numbers that have no correlation. However, if your child can use this foolproof method of finding the multiples of numbers, they will be able to find all the multiples of 8 in any test or exam. Alright, so that's the principled method. Now let's discuss a few shortcuts that should only be used by children that are skilled in finding timetables. One of the best ways to remember multiples is by finding an observable pattern in a list of multiples. For example, when looking at the multiples of five, there's an observable pattern that can make it easy for your child to remember the multiples of five. As you can see, all the digits on the left increase from zero and all the digits on the right have an alternating pattern between zero and five. If they can keep those patterns in mind, they can then compile the multiples of five with ease. Another example we can look at is the multiple of nine. As you can see on the screen, the digits on the left increase from zero to nine, while the digits on the right decrease from nine to zero. So if a child keeps these patterns in mind, they can easily compile the multiples of nine. But in all honesty, finding multiples is very easy and your child will not even need to practice or memorize these shortcuts and these patterns if they just do it the right way. It really just boils down to their ability to count. If your child needs the multiples of two, they just need to count in twos. If your child needs the multiples of nine, they just need to count in nines, so on and so forth. Thank you so much for watching this video. I truly appreciate it. If you are looking for someone to help your child improve their understanding of math, please go down to my website and schedule a consultation with me there. Thanks once more, and I'll see you in the next video.